Meghan Markle's palace life seems to be one disappointing instance after another. It's as if all commentators and insiders can see is how unfit the former suit star is for the royal life. The latest report is that she is once again sparking concern from the palace because of an alleged Hollywood agent working with her. According to a royal insider, the Duchess of Sussex is worrying about the palace because she reportedly cannot stay away from her Hollywood friends, contacts, and overall, life. Markle reportedly has retained her Hollywood agent, lawyer, and business manager, and this is perceived as being her inability to let go of her celebrity life. The three, agent Nick Collins, attorney Rick Janow, ad business manager Andrew Meyer are also said to be already hard at work in launching Markle's comeback in Hollywood. The first step is said to be launching a children's book that Markle already finished writing. The insider told The Sun, that agent Collins, who also worked with Tobey Maguire and Jamie Foxx, is the one mainly filtering the deals. He then passes them to the Markle. The trio's alleged actions are not sitting well with the palace. The children's book, if true, is not that small of a deal. Instead, it is the opposite, because it meant Markle cannot resist going after a career outside of the palace staff and have endeavors that can go against what is right for a royal. As a full-time member of the royal family, it would be the expectation for that type of work to be exclusively handled by palace staff who balance individual desire over what's right for the wider institution, the source said. It is clear she is wanting to keep surrounding herself with her Hollywood people. That wasn't the expectation, she added. Recently, a commentator, Rob Shooter, said that Markle is gearing to go back to acting or try her hand at directing. The commentator said however that if these plans push on, Prince Harry will be more than supportive. Meghan Markle is reading scripts so life behind the palace walls is already starting to get a little boring for the new royal Meghan Markle, which is why the Duchess is already looking to return to work and searching for the perfect project, the commentator said. The way that you end a relationship is almost as important as the way that it begins. If a couple cuts things off amicably, then there is a chance that they can still be friends. If not, then they are probably in for a long and hard divorce process. According to excerpts from Andrew Morton's new biography Meghan, a Hollywood princess, Meghan Markle did not end her last marriage as well as one would hope. Markle's first marriage Before she met Prince Harry, Markle was married to Hollywood producer Trevor Ingelson. The two met when Markle was working as one of the case girls on Deal or No Deal. When they began dating, Ingelson helped her land a role in Robert Pattinson's Remember Me. In 2011, Ingelson and Markle married in a beautiful ceremony in Jamaica. It was such a moving wedding, one of the bridesmaids said, according to the new biography, shared by the Sunday Times. I started crying the moment I saw her in her dress. But 2011 was also the year that Markle got cast in Suits, which changed things drastically. After the wedding, it was like a light switched off. There's Meghan before fame and Meghan after fame, Markle's former best friend Nina Key Pretty told The Sun. What caused the divorce? According to the biography, Markle changed with fame. He and Jelson went from cherishing Meghan to, as one friend observed, feeling like he was a piece of something stuck to the bottom of her shoe, wrote Morton. What once endeared now irritated. A self-confessed perfectionist, Meghan had tolerated Trevor's scattered approach to life for years. Season 2 of Suits is where things really came to an end. In a symbolic move, Markle took her blender out her and Angelson's shared home in LA and drove it to Canada where she had been filming the show. She packed it into the back seat of her car even though it would have been just as easy to buy a new one, Morton said. It sat on the kitchen counter in the Toronto house, a material reminder that her home was no longer in Los Angeles. Markle was reportedly over the marriage long before in Jelson. What came to light after Trevor and I spoke ended my friendship with Megan, Pretty told the Sunday I think everybody who knew them both was in shock. All I can say now is that I think Meghan was calculated, very calculated, in the way she handled people and relationships. 
she is very strategic in the way she cultivates circles of friends. Once she decides you're not part of her life, she can be very cold. It's this shutdown mechanism she has, 